everyone, Christina here with One Creative Direction. How are we doing tonight? Back for another video. This is going to be a quick one. Uh, I'm going to do something I very, very, very rarely ever do, and that is a cup pour. As you can see, I have my cup all layered. I'm just going to do this 12 inch wood round that's a half inch thick. I uh, don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. Um, I mean, I do do cup pours once in a while, but usually it's on a vase or some other object. Uh, so tonight we're actually going to pour on just a canvas. So I've got quite a few colors in here, and we're just going to I'm gonna move this over a little bit. We're just going to get started. Well, that turned out cool. Sorry about reaching in front. All right. Whoa. We can tell this is definitely off center. I'm going to pause this real quick. All right. I had to pause that for a second while I got my messy mat out. And I'm going to try to move this around a bit. And then I'm going to give it a gentle spin. Try to keep it centered somewhat before I let it go over. All right, get it back to the center. And then I think I'm going to spin it a little bit. Opened it up. Those colors are pretty. All right, let's see if I can get this. Just a gentle, gentle, gentle spin. tiny spin. I need to check and see how much paint is on there. I don't want to leave a ton of, whoa, I keep doing that. pretty. Okay, real quick, I'm going to let you know what the colors are in my pouring uh, mixture. So it was really just a simple, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Some nice little cells in there. Uh, so I have Utrecht medium. No, I take that back. Yeah, medium orange. I have Artist Loft light blue. I have Soho phalo blue. Uh, I have Liquitec Basics silver metallic. I have Pevio uh, iridescent orange yellow. I have Soho's cadium blue green light hue. And I think I just used a little bit of Artist Loft white. Not a lot. I didn't uh, put 
I think I did three layers and I only put a little bit. Uh, and all I did was mix the paints the same way. Uh, it was two and a half parts of Floetrol, American Floetrol. I put a little bit of Penetrol in the mixture, in the Floetrol, before I mixed my colors. Uh, when I say a little bit, I mean a couple of squirts. Um, I mixed up, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. I probably had, uh, we'll say 400 grams of Floetrol when I started there. I put about 50 grams of Floetrol in each one of my containers. So it was approximate, it wasn't exact. Um, and I just put a couple squirts in that in that flow trawl, mixed it up really, really good before I mixed it in my colors. Um, but yeah, getting a really nice reaction here. I can't wait to see uh, how it dries. I kind of wanted to see like how thick the paint is. It's not too bad. I don't really like the center. I feel like I need to like do something with it. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot better. I did not like the center the way it was. All right, I'm gonna put the video on pause and bring you down and show you a close-up and then I will update the end of the video with the dry result. Okay, here is the wet result. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know that uh, color here looks like it's yellow but it's actually I believe that medium orange from Utrecht. Let me know what you guys think. I really like these colors together. Um, fingers crossed it dries good. I don't do cup pour, so hopefully, hopefully it turns out well. So here is the dried result. Isn't she pretty? She dried beautifully. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with it but I really, really do like the way it dried. Thanks for joining me, guys.